Part 6. We are going to continue with solve linear equations. And we are going to continue with equations with fractions. You will find this on page 107 in the Namibian Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Cross multiplication. If we simplify A over B equals C over D, the lowest common multiple is BD. So we can multiply each side by BD. And we can do it just like the previous ones. Hence, if two fractions are equal, it must be, and this is very, very important, one term equals one term. The product of the numerator of the first and the denominator of the second is equal to the product of the numerator of the second and the denominator of the first. It's actually just like we did with direct proportion. We can cross multiply. But it must be one term equals one term. And then we are basically also going to get AD equals BC. This is known as cross multiplication and it can be applied when an equation has one term equals one term. Okay, let's just do this one. So first on the previous method, we are going to make the denominators the same by finding the lowest common multiple. So if I multiply 6, 6, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, and 2, 3. So we get 2x equals 3. We divide 2, divide 2, and this is my answer. Or this method, we cross multiply. Start with the x. So x times 2 is 2x. 3 times 1 is 3. Divide 2, divide 2, and you will get exactly the same answer. Okay. You can do... Um, Number A, try now seven, number A, number C, number G, and number I. Okay, let's start. Try now seven. Let's start with number A. So if I look at the first one, I'm going to do this one on both methods. So let's do it first on method one. And then I will do it on method Two. Okay, let's start with method one. So if it's two, y over three equals four over nine. So what is the LCM? The LCM will be equal to nine. So basically, I'm just going to multiply three, multiply three, and that's going to be six over y over nine equals four over nine. Multiply nine, multiply nine, the denominator Nators cancel out. So it's 6y equals 4. I divide 6. I divide 6. And the value of y, if we simple this, simplify this fraction, divide 2, divide 2. So it's 2 over 3. Okay, that's the old method. If I do it with the new method, then it's 2y over 3 equals 4 over 9. So what am I going to do? I'm going to cross multiply. Start with the one with the unknown. So 2y times 9 is going to be 18y. And 4 times 3, that is going to be 12. I divide 18. I divide 18. And the value of y is 12 over 18. And I can simplify this. Divide 6. Divide 6. Or use your ABC. And it's going to be exactly the same answer. Okay. So in the next ones, if I see it's one term equals one term, I will follow this method. If it's more than one term on one side, I will follow method one. Okay. So let's start. Let's do the next one. Number C. So it's x over 12 equals negative 1, put the negative on top, over 4. Can you see it's 1 term equals 1 term? So the negative is on top. So x times 4 is 4x. 12 times negative 1 is negative 12. I divide 4 and I divide 4. And the value of x, what will be the value of x? It will be negative 3. Okay, and that will be my answer. Okay, um, if I do number g, let's just make space again. So it's 12m over 7 equals 18 over 21. Now again, if you look, it's one term equals one term. 
So I can cross multiply. Let me show you. Cross multiply. So if I cross multiply, start with the M. So 12M times 21 will be 252M. And 7 times 18 will be 126. I divide 252. I divide 252. And the value of M will be equal to a half or 0 0.5. Okay. And then number L. Let's just do the next one. Okay, let's just make space again. Number L. So this one is y over 4 minus 5 over 12 equals y over 2 minus y over 3. Now it's more than one term, more than one term. So I have to do method 1. So I have to find my lowest common multiple and that's 12. So I times 3 times 3. Okay, times 6 times 6 times 4 times 4. So my answer will be 3y over 12 minus 5 over 12 equals 6y over 12 minus 4y over 12. Now I multiply with the LCM 12, 12, 12, 12, so the denominators will cancel out. So I end up with 3y minus 5 equals 6y minus 4y. And if I simplify this, I'm just going to take all the like terms to the same side. Okay. So if I'm taking that like terms to, to that side, I'm going to say it's 3y minus 6y. Remember, it's a positive, so it becomes a negative. This is a negative, so it becomes a positive. 4y. Okay, this is not number L. This is number AI. I just want to correct. This was number I. Okay, so this is equal to, if this negative 5 goes over, it becomes positive 5. So if I simplify 3 minus 6 plus 4, that is going to be 7 minus 6, and that is going to give me y is equal to 5, and that's going to be my final answer. Okay, now let's look at a little bit more complicated one. But it's still that long division. It's still one term equals one term. Always, if there's more than one term in the denominator or numerator, put them in brackets. So put your brackets. And then still cross multiply. Can I just show you? It's still this. Oh, it's like red. So I, I'm still saying 4, and I write that bracket, and 7, and I write that bracket. I multiply out the brackets. I take the like terms to the same side. I divide, and this will be my final answer. Can I just show you this? If there's a negative there somewhere, it can be with the numerator, with the denominator, or in front of the fraction. Okay. I want you to do the following. Do number B. Okay, let's just do this. Okay. Let's just do number B as well as number D. Okay. Let's start. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So try now, 8, and we're going to do number B. So it's 2y minus 3 over 5 equals 4y, and put it over 1. Now, put brackets. Okay, so basically, if I'm going to multiply, remember, I'm going to cross multiply. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you start with. So let's start with this 5 times 4y, that is going to be 20y. And then if I look at the next one, um, if I just going to, this is just 1, so if I multiply, it's 2y minus 3. Okay. And if I'm going to simplify this, this is like, 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 so it's 20y minus 2y. It's a positive, so it's now a negative. This is negative 3. So 20 minus 2, that's going to be 18y, and that's negative 3. I divide 18, I divide 18. The value of y is negative 1 over 6. Okay. I, I just want you, you can stop the video, then you can continue. I want you to do number C also. And then as soon as you are finished, because I'm I'm going to do number C now. I will do also number D. 
So let's just do number C. So if it's 3x minus 1 over 2 equals x minus 4 over 3. I put brackets. Now I remember, it's cross multiply. It's like this and like this. So if I start, it's going to be 3 and then it's 3x minus 1 equals 2 x minus 4. Just make sure that you did it correct. So this, it's this number, this denominator, and this numerator. This denominator and this numerator. So this is going to be 9x minus 3 equals 2x minus 8. Like, like. So it's 9x. If this positive 2x comes over, it's negative 2x. There's the negative 8. If this negative 3 goes over, it becomes positive 3. So this is 7x, and this is negative 5. I divide 7, and I divide by 7, and my final answer, okay, let's just see, my final answer will be x equals negative 5 over 7. Okay, and now we can just do that final, final one. Um, let's just quickly do that number D. Okay, number D. So it's 4 equals 15 minus 3K over 3. So put it over 1. So basically we're just going to cross multiply. Remember your brackets. So 4 times 3 is 12. And that is 15 minus 3K. Okay, now in this case I want to do something different. I want to take the 3K over. Then it becomes positive. Just for interesting. This is 15. Positive 12 will become negative 12. And then I will just have 3k equals 3. I divide 3, I divide 3, and the value of k will be equal to 1. And that will be the final answer.